Feature Friday. The freshest. <gasps> Yo, what's happening? Welcome, welcome back. This is Feature Friday. In case you didn't read the title, we're checking out some anime. <laughs> Correct, music. correct. I but love the Japanese music mm -hmm. industry and Wait, I was I very you. pleased with last month's sort of podcast in terms of discovering the music. I'm very happy everyone sort of enjoyed it and it did not get blocked, so happy days. Well, well hey, that is great news. Also, I'm really excited because majority of these performances, uh, uh, videos that we're going to be checking out today are actually live. Yeah, about three of them are live. And then That's really cool. We have some new names. Everyone was requesting in the previous one, Ado. Ah, okay. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. And I don't know what Ado is, but god damn, is she popular? Or, they, or wow. they, or he. I or have a no group. idea. I don't know what it or is. If it's a band, I have no idea. This is what's so fun about this. Also, you guys request some of the coolest things ever that we have never even come across before, which is so cool. Also, I've been getting like a, a lot of like anime shit on my Instagram reels. Ah, okay, but okay. A lot of it is out of pocket. Like, <laughs> it's some like think, proper out of pocket <laughs> humor. Stop squirming. I would, but it's bigger than I thought. You won't feel a thing. Quick in and out. Okay. I can handle a little pain. Your temperature should go down now. You really are the best, though. You're under arrest. I think I think I've seen a lot of this like and they come they come up in the most random of moments yeah. as well when you're scrolling. It's like they I'm come not, out of the blue. I'm not big on scrolling and I'm not big on Instagram, like in terms of like, I get bored quite easily, but my friends sometimes send me them. Obviously they know yeah. about Baleska's channel and stuff on the podcast, but it's like, damn, that's edgy, dog. Yeah, I you know? know. But it's probably out of pocket. <laughs> so I don't know, someone please educate me on this. I don't know if it's, you're probably going to see some. Hey. I don't know if they're real or if someone did a voiceover, or if it's fake. Or it's like fake, fake subs. Sometimes I get like carried away with the fate Bro, some fake Dragon subs. Ball Z is proper. Oh no, Dragon Ball Z is really proper out of pocket. Yeah, I it's watched proper. it when I was a kid. I loved it. Maybe <laughs> that's why I came out. Oh wait. <laughs> Let's start with that though, shall we? Okay. The song is Usiwa. Dude, Japan's uh, vending machine niche on YouTube. King unreal. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, gonna be a lot of rock. Oh, cool! Damn. This is awesomeness with the name. Bali is a big one. Feel my voice. I love those discounts. Mm -hmm. like so. They're so good though because they're so dis the, the sonic. Yep. And this joint. Yeah. Ooh, I, I see a drum think... cover of this. You're too mediocre to understand. What a line. Nice. I'm, I don't mean to stop it. I did, actually. But that, that phrase there is probably a good representation of what Jap the Japanese music industry does really well. Those ordinary melodies... Those ordinary melodies of yours, whilst doing that discant feel of 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 layering, dissonated. It is it's really it's really dis disconnected too. Yeah, I disjointed. also love I love that. I don't think there's another music industry out there that does um, underlying madness the way that Japanese music has it down. Underlying conflict, yeah. And it's not only conflict because I think the best the the best conflict exposing music that I have heard. It's Indian, Indian, Indian music progressive industry. rock. Yeah. It tends to be very good at Pakistani progressive conflict. rock as well. Yes, I agree. But in terms of, of discordant, dark, um, 
demonic, borderline, freaking amazingness adventure. Otherworldly. Yes, absolutely. Otherworldly, fantastical to a certain extent is Japanese music. Yep. And I always go back to that. Yeah, I agree. Because listen to this. Or oh, Osewa. Nice. Gives me a proper old Cartoon Network riff. Oh, it kind of does, I agree. I love the superiority complex here, it's so good. <laughs> See, this that's exactly what I feel in the in this in the music. Absolute madness, it's so cool. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. I love the riff with the vocals at the same time. So I mean, shut the fuck up. Damn, dude. I love that it's a skull as well that she has her fingers into. It's so cool. It's like she's massaging the brain of the dead. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so don't say this to Japanese when you make someone Japanese. Oh, he changed. Yeah. Quite common, right? Drives in madness tenfold. Wait, though, because you can kind of bop your head with it, bro. Sickening! So freaking cool! The graphics are so awesome. Yeah, she's absolutely what freaking is it? insane. Is it, is it a character. I love that. I, I don't, don't know understand. If it's, I don't know if it's uh, maybe it's a Ado bus. No, Ado Japanese thing. She's like uh, a, yeah, like a it's a character. Japan it's like a voice magazine. of like the gorillas, but the Japanese version. Uh, Ado is a Japanese singer. In 2020, at the age of 17, she made her debut with the digital single title Ose Wa which peaked at number one Billboard Japan, Hot 100. <laughs> Damn, son. Where'd you find that? The song reached... <laughs> Is that on Amazon? <laughs> the song reached 100 million plays on Billboard Japan after 17 weeks. But what, what, what is it? I just think it's a song. No, no, no. What, what is she? I think it, she's a singer with a, with, with a uh, animation for a thing. Look, she has a, a Japanese singer. What? She has a TikTok. There's a TikTok. You bet she has a TikTok. I want to see Can what's happening. Can she I like, him. I like him. She's very famous. I said that in very Spanish accent. I said that I spoke Japanese in Spanish. <laughs> I don't understand though. I like, think she's a I think she is that. A anim like an animated character. Well, like but she's a an artificial she's intelligence. A si no, she's a singer. Like the gorillas, bro. Oh. See what I mean? I think she's like an actual person, but she is she performs through a animation. She sees herself. Okay, so he's a girl. Wow, 17 year old girl, goddamn. She I might just be like 21. Said that. Damn. And now she's 20 years old. Okay. I just didn't want to sort of, you know, misrepresent her or misrepresent her. I don't know who it is. No, I mean, it's in like the 17 part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Understanding the latest trends, checking the stock market on my way to work. Oh, they're talking about their lyrics. I was like, what? <laughs> but Ado is not like most young adults. In fact, she comes with a disarming quietude mm. that most would struggle to reconcile with the pumping anger and scorn of her songs. As time pushed her closer to the other side of the threshold, she felt it was the right moment to broaden her perspective. Like any teenager, she had thoughts that screaming at the top of her lungs, pouring visceral resentment into her songs and outright rejecting the idea of conformity was the way to achieve that. Ask her about it now, she'd probably laugh and say that that emotion without self-awareness is a rebel without a cause. When I started out, I was quite immature, she admits. I really wanted to be taken seriously. Well, mate, well, you were bloody if, taken seriously. If that, that is much. not, yeah, if that is not a point. Oh, there's another. She makes wow, different one, stuff now. 
One Piece. Oh, this is from One Piece. Wow. Hold on, hold on. Can we see her live? Oh! I'm interested. What? She's got me hooked. She's, uh, yeah, I'm hooked. <laughs> I'm intrigued. Okay, talk about it, though. Uh, the absolute discordant feel to her lyricism and the musicality of it all. I wonder if she composes as well. There's a lot of, like... Um, I think everything's self-written and self-composed. Yeah, yeah. So, so what you were going to say? No, before? I think I'm really intrigued into... I don't care if it's a rebel without a cause. I don't care if it's fueled by Evolution. anger to to the, to the sense of humanity. Stick it to the man. I'm all for it. Awesome. Well, it's, Especially it's for a, music. For music, it's an okay? emotion. It's a feeling, and and that's what music. It's a medium for emotions. So if that's how she felt in that bloody moment, fucking hell, fair fantastic, enough. and it's so well conveyed. It's absolute madness. I love that. I'm very intrigued on seeing how this translates life. Correct. Yeah, you're you're, you're gonna need a next level singer. To exactly be able I mean. to translate that angst, that anger, that anxiety, that conflict. The absolute unhinged vocals that we just saw. I, I, Very I really popular. Want, yeah, Let's I hope so. <laughs> oh, wow. Very Taka like. I. I'd love one of K Rock this. and them and her. Okay. What? And you can never see her. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think she's like she's a like an avatar. Oh, cool freaking usage of rhythm and so. Oh, cool! People are feral. She's very good, man. Wow. Wow. I take back everything I just said. <laughs> that is so good! <laughs> She really maintains that quirkiness as well. How is she singing moving around that way? I, I don't understand that. Oh! My god! What is this feeling? And she never showed her face. I mean, how iconic is she? Levels. I love the whole band is life. That is so freaking dope. You can hear her breath. You can hear... Yeah, that microphone is on a hundred percent, baby. She doesn't have a split as well. I love that head voice voice split. Just there. Yeah! That is so cool! What the fuck is this chicken? What is this? Nice. Cool to hear that exhaustion. I was gonna say, when is he gonna kick in? It fits though. I love that she's tired and you can hear it. It fits. How does she? How does she cover a whole, a whole co like a whole concert? Consider me impressed. She's such a cool mix as well of musical arrangements. 
tempos. Even her vocal technique is freaking wild. Mm. I don't think there even is a technique that covers anything that she just did. She's it's, just very unique. One of the, one of those sort of unicorns, right? But I love that her vocal mannerisms aren't the main course of her performance. No. Like, you can understand where a lot of this manic singing comes from, and I love that it actually fits the fact that she was exhausted towards the end. There's a lot of texturized vocals for sure. Uh, it is it is quite strange as mm. from a vocal coach-like perspective. Um, on very, quotes. very unique. But it works. You it wanna, works, You want to always approach <laughs> music wow, and dude. singing and everything like that. Unique, not uniform. You don't, yes. you don't want to... Either you want to have principles and overbearing principles and guidelines in order to ensure both technical safety and longevity so that there isn't damage. But you always want to promote uniqueness over uniformity. Because if not, everyone just comes out like a can of box Manufactured, cake. yeah, it's manufactured stuff. It and does not have a soul. And it sells for a bit, it does, because the formula works, but yeah, then it true. disappears, it fizzles out and there's no substance and people can see right through it. Uh, it's it's just part of the uh, the evolution. And if you, if you look at the comments, like, it's not just Japanese people, like, you're getting people from all over the world. Look, Spanish, Japanese, English, tuning in and watching this. So the market... It's wide sets open. the damn demand. Yeah, it's wide open. <laughs> and I think what's happening a lot of the time is people are somewhat fatigued of the same sound, the same approach, and they want essence. They want things that have a soul. They want things that have meaning and go beyond what face value is. And as a matter of fact, she probably is the best example of she goes beyond face value. Mm -hmm. um, Actually, and that does not has any detrimental effect on her marketability no and i love i love that there is a space for that in the japanese music music industry because then again i think it's one of the most experimental in terms of temper yeah. and and uh progressive music Plus. fusions in, in japan they're very open to that and i think it's because the overall japanese audience is quite musically savvy like i think the the fact that is so the musical theater theory and just mu music overall is so intertwined with the with the culture of of studying so uh, yeah it's part of the curriculum in, in 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 japan makes people understand music in a completely different level which sure. makes musicians and artists experiment with the complexity of music in a different way too my question is to the audience whether you are from japan mm. south korea the philippines us the uk we know we have i guess a broad audience but wherever you're watching from i i have a question do you find yourself then when you listen to music like this, let's say your favorite artist is Addo, uh, King New, uh, Green Wimps, Miss Green Apple, yeah. Rad Wimps, 1OK Rock, maybe 1OK Rock is still, they, they, they have very, uh, music that's very complex and also quite mainstream music. But let's say music like this, that's quite musically intricate. Mm -hmm. Do you find it then very difficult to consume very mainstream music? That's my question, because I, I feel like if you build an ear for this and you start to understand the complexities and maybe you go down that rabbit hole, or maybe it just feels good in your ears, maybe that's how you feel in the moment. I would imagine that you would find it immensely difficult then to go back to the traditional 4 by 4s or the traditional 3 chord wonders and, you know? I think so too. I think it happens in K-pop as know. well. I feel like a lot of people that listen exclusively to K-pop find it very hard to listen to a song that it's it's done for streamable purposes and yeah. things like that and one of the main the main criticisms from a lot of people that listen to k-pop from 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 our friends uh, friend group and stuff is that they find music to be too plain too uh not predictable not stimulating correct, enough not stimulating enough but i wonder what you just guys a think. thought yeah i love i love this by the way from her they asked us like uh, what what's your goals for like 2023 and then she's like uh, not just on an emotional level of just loving myself, but I'd like to be able to achieve that this year and improving my skills. Because I think they asked her if she wanted to keep making music mm -hmm. or something like that. But I, I, I like that a lot. Fair uh, play. It's nice. I think, I think it can come across. A lot of people are like, oh, it's cliche, so, it's so or cliche. cringy, but or it's not. Especially when you make music. Especially when you have a creative outlet. I think it's important to understand the. Uh, mind-body connection in order to actually uh, express 
your arts to the best of your ability. Let's give a watch to the next one, Red Wimps. Oh, I love them. The song is called Your Name, I oh, think. Oh, it's from the movie Your Name. Oh, I see. It's kind of hard to tell because it has the Japanese <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it's from the, the movie Your Name, which, by the way, sparkle. absolutely... Sparkle. This is Sparkle. Hit me. Ball. Oh, yes. This gives me proper effort. These are animations, by the way. This is not... Oh. Is that that is drawn. Oh, I thought I was like a landscape. No, this no, I know no, is animated. No, no, no. All of it is animated. This movie is so beautiful. Yeah, this song. I love this so much. Oh, this was such a freaking, uh, what is it called? Um, mind warping. Oh, what a unique voice. Cool. Oh, someone's going to die. This is one of those. It's so time warping. Just watching it, I'm so... <gasps> so beautiful, isn't it? The it animations. Is Shut up, though. Like, they, are yeah. they... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they again. overlaying it though? Like, isn't that real? No, it's this. all computerized. It's all they they draw the things and then they uh, like give that three D feel. I I saw a documentary. Shut up. On That's this. not real. No, it's not. It's it's a. Uh, I saw a whole documentary of like the new generation of anime and how Jesus. realistic a lot of the landscapes are. It is because they've intertwined. A, the the three D animated because I understand he I understand. is animated, but the background looks like all like of a it. picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is pretty old though. Six years ago. Yeah. In comparison to newer. Bro, the anxiety I can feel it through the screen. Is that that red thread of destiny? So cool! Oh, that chord progression is so beautiful. That's little jazz influence, isn't it? Voice by this guy. Shut up, that's real. <laughs> this move, this moment in the movie, bro. Oh, they missed their chance. They're like in a parallel universe. He's such a good singer. Yeah, because there's lots of parallels in the world, right? Oh, what oh. the fuck? This song should go on forever. Mate. I know, I know. And the beauty is that because his vocals are absolutely drenched in uh, that twanginess, it, it actually creates the the bigger effect of of the troublesome uh, mysteries of the of the film they're kind of like amplified by that texture of his vocals you are having such a beautiful chord progression that works in so many musical dynamics that are so incredibly hard to process alone and i think that they they represent also how well scripted the movie is feel like a lot of those natural I inclinations of, of conflicts that are in the movie are really well represented in the song itself. Have we have we ever reviewed them? Uh, on Rap the channel? Rocks. I don't think I think this is the so. first time we check them out. I know you listen to them. Yes. Um, yes. Hence why we couldn't do the first time thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I don't because think... I've, I, I've never fucking heard of them. Yes, I, yes I've no, never, they're really great. They yeah. have a lot of wonderful big stuff though. Th this movie... I think this movie brought to light 
their musical like extravaganza to mm. a lot of like Western people. Right. Um, but yeah, they're absolutely awesome. I I really really like Rap their lips. stuff. So they're a rock band. I mean, definitely that that singer. They're three, aren't they? Yeah. They are three. Yeah. Mm. Uh, that singer is definitely very um very alternative rock. Yes. Yes. Um, but the musical intricacies are so very jazzy. jazzy. And well, that. ironically enough, they are considered a rock jazz alternative rock. There we go. Emo indie rock pop rock. Isn't it funny how back in the day, like emo was like mean. You but you're so emo. Yeah, that was like <laughs> fucked. You know. Same as like noise music. That's like an insult. I felt. You know, noise noise music. I remember. That's that. wild. Yes. To call a genre noise music, because noise is meant to be bad, right? It's meant to be unbearable, but yeah. it's a thing. But it's a, that's like a fucking genre. So is jungle. Yeah, jung jungle's bizarre. Good on the drums though, mate. See, that to me, I just, I, I tolerate a lot of music styles. That. Oof. Yeah, but it's not a big fan of wow. jungle. <laughs> Neither am I. Neither wow. am I. I don't like rock, by the way, guys. I, I just love. love to be to see it be played in the drums and I love to play it in the drums. I also feel like with rock music being played live, it's so transcendental. <laughs> like even if you don't like the genre, it's kind of contagious when you see it live, you're like completely absorbed by the energy of the atmosphere. True. Uh, I, I feel because it's so rebellious in nature, it it takes everybody by a storm. They've been around for a while, man, 2003. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah, like they're, the, they're 20 new. plus years old. Wow. Mm -hmm. Uh, the band's name, Radwimps, was formed from two English slang terms, rad and wimp. Uh, according to the band, the coined word had several meanings, including excellent weakling mm -hmm. <laughs> and superlative coward. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> nice little juxtap yeah, yeah. juxtaposed name, given their complexity of their music as well. I would think that's an appropriate name. Shout oh, out to cool. them. I think that is I the first time we've done a proper review of them. I think so. I think I listen to them a lot in my free, in my free time, and I think it... This is one of those bands the good that I discovered. Okay right? yeah, yeah, I was gonna say that. This is one of those bands that I discovered in high school because of the friend group in high school used to listen to a lot of like anime anime music and those were the friends that actually introduced me to anime really early on. Um, and I think I I listened to One Okay Rock when I was like 13 years old, like way back in the day. And when I went back to listening to them in the channel, I was like, why do they sound so familiar? I kind of know this stuff. And this this just hits different. And I recalled later on. I think probably. And I think that's where Rat Wimps also was included into my uh, playlist. I think probably throughout the podcast, the background music we'll probably use for this would be One Okay Rock. Like, yeah. uh, because we're, we're such big fans. <laughs> and our family, our mother is very, very big fan Actually, of One Okay Rock. Actually, my mom was so sad that we missed their concert here in London yeah. uh, not long ago they, in the summer. They sold out the uh, OVO. O2. O2. Oh, the O2? The O2, yeah. And shut up. Yeah, I think it was the O2. Arena. Damn. Let's have a look at your Asobi. I didn't uh, know they were I in London. I love so these guys. We checked out this, this um, song. song from o Oshinoko Rai Idol. <laughs> but we never seen it live. I've actually don't I think, think we've ever seen your Asobi live. So let's give this a review. Arena Tour 2023, very recent. Okay. I think this is... Oh, wow! <laughs> Man! Oh, nice. Gosh, she's doing a light show. It's so incredible. Yes, sell me the experience. <laughs> Ooh, the angles are as well. Ah! Shut up, mate. That's a stadium, though, no? It has to be. It's, like, it's an, I mean, it's, like, it's an, an arena, arena, but arena tour. Looks bigger than an arena to me. <gasps> wow! My goodness! Next I pay anything level, to man. watch them live. Anything. Take my house. Oh, the music is up below. The my musicians. imaginary cat. I can have it all. <laughs> station. Man. Control station. God, look! Even the freaking station is awesome. They have like thirty-five thousand screens. <gasps> Mate, it's place your numbers. Alright, it's in the ring. My God! So that's duet, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> nice. I love how controlled she is. So sweet and like whatever the song is freaking mental. <laughs> the 
the nature of the definition of like who, what the fuck? That's so dope, dude. <laughs> What a mental set to play. Oh, I love being a bass player. I love that she's really collective while singing, though. It's live, it's man. It's a hard They're such performers. Everybody on that stage is a freaking performer. She's very stable, man. How? Breath control, that's insane. They are the idols. They are the stars. What are you on? I love that bell. Ding, ding. <laughs> it's actually a very fun set to play on the kit. Bro, fire. Who's on the keys? Because it wasn't him. It was the, it's the other blonde guy who's a, who was jumping around. <laughs> yeah, this song is weird as fuck. No, how is she keeping up? It's, I know it's their song, but freaking hell. Are they siblings? I don't have no idea. are impeccable my god she's phenomenal Dude, what a, what a show bro <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> i'm actually blown away <laughs> she's even in tune when she speaks <laughs> what the fuck wow that was so impressive <laughs> They, what? That's probably one of the most impressive sort of. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're they're a musical. What theory. is happening in Japan? My goodness gracious, that is insane. But are they my are they related? Eyes, my uh, ears. Ayase and Ikura. 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 It's oh, Ikuta. Japanese sing. Ah, Ikuta. Rida, Japanese singer songwriter. She is the best known as the vocalist of the duo Yuasoba. Ah, it's just he's Sobe. the you're sorry producer, producer. but he, they're not related uh, okay. i don't think right. uh he's best known as the producer uh yeah because i would buy it if <laughs> if like they were like brother and sister or, or right, something yeah. like that like yeah, i'd yeah. definitely buy that they have such chemistry like my goodness they're explosive absolutely freaking phenomenal and i have to say commandable musical chemistry on uh, uh, Commandable, incredible intricacies by the musicians, but the their put on performance of the musicians as well. I love that even though they're sessionists, they're part of the show. Like, uh, like they're they're soloists. I get the feeling they've uh, they've probably toured with them yeah, quite often. Yeah, definitely. There's too much musical chemistry in that show for there's it to too be much just harmony yeah. between them in such a complex song. The song is, it's just it makes absolutely no sense and. Yeah. Did they have the whole thing mapped out in a way that, it, I mean, it's, uh, words don't do it justice. What a phenomenal performance! The Unreal, live dude. show, the sound equalization, my goodness, and and even the camera work was insane. Even the freaking crowd was incredible. <laughs> what are you on? It's actually insane. That place. That's how you do a live show. How I, can I move on from that. I hope a lot of artists 
are looking into other industries and a lot of especially here from the west they're looking into other industries they're looking into other world-class musicians um regardless of the language barrier regardless of whatever because there's so much to do <laughs> there's so many lessons to be learned and i think at the moment like the japanese music industry the korean music industry even the chinese music industry it's like singapore as well has like great great music in, in, in that sense as well yep. they are probably in terms of production video music video making live performing and live shows they're probably ahead of the game i think what the west is doing fairly well like mainstream artists in the west like you look at Caesar, you look mm -hmm. at like Travis Scott, you mm -hmm. look at Drake, you look at like uh, Lady weekend. Gaga, the, we the El Weekend, you know, The Weekend. I think what they have is like a lot of production value and something that I really like that Travis Scott has done, regardless of the absolute madness that has happened in his concerts. I like the idea behind it of to create a world, with Astro World to create a world, an experience. I don't rate his show, actually. If, if you know anything about music, why would you? It's bizarre. It's just weird. It sounds like the phone might as well be plugged on on a screen or something on a on a speaker. Not rap is at an all time low in terms of live performing quality, and I can say that confidently because rap is my favorite genre. So it just hurts me to say it. <laughs> but and then you have a look at Jay Cole's and you have a look at the Kendrick Lamar's. It's ah oh, maybe we're still alive <laughs> in terms of live show. Down. Not in terms of like rap music. It's, it's like great, but I mean life wise, life music wise. Like look, you compare like a fucking. Travis Scott show and then you compare your Asobi show and it's like there's no comparison well, the, they're both completely with, different things yeah to begin with they're like in completely different Milky Ways Stra like. yeah Milky Ways yeah they are <laughs> okay Milky fine ways. um yeah yes yeah, Milky Ways Milky Ways it just sounded funny the and the, the galaxy I don't know but I don't know I, I hope they're looking into all these other industries and taking inspiration from them because they are right now at a level on their own but I do think, though, I'm probably spot on on the on the observation that I'm, I made earlier. I think if you like this type of stuff, you go to these concerts, you support this type of artist, you get the merch, you get the albums, you get the physical copies, you have the vinyls, you have the listen, you're listening to them constantly. I think this is probably the things you only listen to. Yeah, it it, it becomes it, it curates your ear. Yeah. Like I actually you think you find tune. unbearable the other shit. Yeah, exactly. You become attuned to a certain different things. Talking Ooh, about okay. another. Uh, musical individual. prodigy, I'll call I, him. Yeah, yeah, um, I agree with that. Musical genius. Yes. Quite familiar with his music. Father's a big fan as well. Kenshi Yonezu. I absolutely adore this man. He is incredible. Yeah. The way that he creates, like, idea. But Jacob to... Collier, if if he was like a bit more like rock forward. I I just I just love the fact that. Here's the thing. I find it incredibly complicated. For people to understand the complexity of an idea being born in somebody's head and then the physical translation of that idea. Yep. Because if you have done anything creative, which a lot of people have in their in their whole spam of their lives, even if you work in accounting or law or whatever, <laughs> the 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 constant reminder that what you have in your mind, the the born idea here what happens when you bring it to life sometimes is not what you had planned sometimes it's not exactly as accurate yeah. as 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 you uh, conjured it in the beginning right so it's hard for a lot of artists to actually translate and they spend their whole lives in in their creative careers Refining trying that to find that complete translation a lot of people call it authenticity and a lot of people call it um the true selves but i think it's the is the a conjuring of the idea exactly as they see it in their mind's eye can, can she, she can can she i feel can like she can and a, can she could <laughs> and I he feel, did <laughs> yeah i feel like it's a perfect combination of such a hard yeah a, a, a life's journey yep. of discovery fujikaze also yeah i agree here we go kick back life we have freaking gonglets of fire on the stage. This is that weird ass show, right? Chainsaw Man. Classic singer, man. Oh, God. 
This is so crazy! <laughs> also, the music video for this was absolutely insane. It's this so crazy. Weird. Oh, this guy is singing through a megaphone. Oh, that is so cool! It's such a cool car! <laughs> no, come on! Wow. That was such a queen arrangement. <laughs> Oh, oh what a song! The cover of the ankles, the freaking transitions and this! The dancers, what a great touch! See, there's a bit of jungle in there. Yeah, I know. The garage. Oh my god! <laughs> Just my See what I mean about the experimentation, the absolutely, the absolute freedom. freedom. <laughs> Yay! Yes! And this is the freedom. Okay, listen, Whoa. this freedom is only achieved by the power of knowledge. A lot of people say that understanding music to its all, it, all its intricacies takes away the magic of just listening casually to music. But I disagree because it, it allows this freedom. It, it allows these musical geniuses to absolute experiment to the extreme extent of it all. Like, you have never heard the 12 notes of the scale being trans journey that transversed in this, in this way before. Like, Damn. how accelerating! That's amazing, bro. This is exciting! Uh, this is so great! How old is he? Also, can I just say something, though? Yeah. What an incredible performer, because they allowed the... He's 32. Oh, very cool. He looks... I thought 17. he was younger, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, but I think that makes sense. The, the, the congruency of his music and the, the, the level of experimentation and, and dexterity, I think it all makes sense, the fact that he's in his early 30s. 25 max. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> you can't what? tell physically. <laughs> but in terms of his artistry, I think you can see some of that maturity coming through. Also, I just think there is such a cool way of like including in all of these performances live that we have seen today, except for Ado, I must say, mm -hmm. the singers have been incredibly controlled on their, in their performances and I think it's because the songs are so demanding. Mm -hmm. You could easily get carried away by the uh, physical exertion of activity, but they have managed to make the shows so incredibly stimulating in other ways that the singer actually focuses on what they're meant to do, which is sing, you know, and deliver the song to the best of their abilities. Oh, I forget gosh. that he's also an illustrator, and that's probably why he he is so free both in his... Visual experimentation as well as his, musical as his musical experimentation, experimentation or yes. musical expressions, I guess. This is so exciting, I Turns out, Yonesu's <laughs> first foray into music was in 2006 during his second year of junior high school where he formed a band with his friend Hiroshi Nakajima called Late Rabbit, <laughs> Late Rabbit Eda. 
to play for the school culture festival. Very cool, very cool. That's where it all began. That's usually how it all begins, especially in the in this part of the world in, in Japan or in, in Korea as well. So it's quite similar, I guess, where they it's in school where they sort of get introduced into sort of band music. In Japan, I think the musical regime in terms of the musical curriculum it, as it's, how is, yeah, how it's is more integrated. intense. And then he made his major label debut in March 2011. Okay, it's been a while, huh? Yeah, these are, these are artists with 10 plus years in their yeah. pocket. Again, the exception of everything we're saying in terms of general rules is Ado. I that think. girl is what something else, bro. I just think she absolutely broke the rule. And I think in so many different ways, not only artistically speaking or the way that she broke the statistics, I think it... it I don't know, the, the desire to be heard and be taken seriously, that was fuel to her fire. And also through her, she she has a very good understanding of music. Yeah, also, what a performance, what a performer. I Cool. Let's give a watch to King New. Okay, cool. This is, I don't know what this is called. <laughs> Just got Japanese. recommended, but it's in Japanese. <laughs> Maybe it's called, I don't know, E. Ichizu. Oh, I know what this is. This is the Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, right, but is it's it like this a soundtrack? Opening? But it says the movie thing? though. Is there a movie? I don't know. It's a Jujutsu Kaisen movie. Huh? I didn't know there was a movie. Okay. But it's like, okay, I'm in. Dude, Japan loves like 125, 140 BPM. Oh yeah, everything's so what quick. On. Wait, it's like. Cool. Very freaking cool. Ooh, how cool are these guys? We love 16s. Ooh, nice. Change of vocalists. I love that. The freaking music video is insane. He reminds me a bit of like Green Day vocalists. Vocalist. This guy. And this is completely wild, I love that. Oh, he's the keyboardist as well. Give me a break. Oh, awesome. Play one hand performing with the other, no problem. Awesome. Wow, I'm so impressed. Dude. Awesome. Jesus. Awesome. Oh. Nice. Take a there again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a genius. <laughs> How did they direct this music video? That's so cool! I love the shots from underneath. They come out of nowhere, it's key changes. Are. They do. It's not even key changes, you're like completely changing everything. So maybe they change, it's like, yeah, I don't know, they change the root now and then all of a sudden everything's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love to see the process of the songs being written. How do they come up with this stuff? <laughs> so sick! <laughs> Bounce in another level right now. I'm on the edge of my seat, like... Incredible, incredible, incredible. That also, what a cool... Okay, 
there is there is something really cool about having a one shot space video where <laughs> first losing what? his mind what? where a lot of these videos kind of like fall flat in 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 previous generations i mean his has been done through history so many times uh, but this was so cool because you have the not only the dynamic uh, camera work but you also have a really cool reflective um no, it's not the screens at the top of this uh, of the ceiling, right? You have it, it kind of like opens the whole new universe of accessibility in terms of like visual aesthetics. It it also plays with the deceptive the deceptive depth of the of the studio. Mm. That studio is huge, but it looks like it's quite like compact given the fact that you have such a animated uh, ceiling. So the song is called Ichizu. Ichizu. And the lyrics go a little bit like this. Lend me your strength one last time, then I won't ask for anything more. My future, my past, and my everything. I'll have no regrets if it's completed with you. Mm. Rock my frozen heart. Nice. To carve the proof of my life. <laughs> That's awesome! I don't need a balance to decide what's right or wrong. And imagine, this loose is about... Uh, usually it's like 60% of the actual poetry through uh, the translation. Yes. Correct. You know, definitely more, half. Uh, I don't need a balance to decide what's right or wrong when contradictions mess up the brain. Swinging back and forth between evil and justice, the credits rolls to draw the end of life. This has to be God's selfish prank. Then why I don't... That's why I don't care if I have to play dirty. We are likewise on our twisted and contradicted past, comparing how unfortunate we are when our lives hang in by a thread. And to struggle is nothing but self-deception. Nice. That's and to struggle is nothing but boss. self self-deception. Self That's philosophical riz. Mm. Uh, oh, those pieces of thoughts. Spread it and linger. Very stoic of him, actually. I love, yes, I love that. Yeah. Oh, those pieces of thoughts. Spread it and linger in their blood. I don't need a reason to stare straight ahead with my sto with my soul heart. Instrumental bridge. Uh, why was I crying? I don't even know. Love has succumbed my body. It will do that to you, mate. Stop preaching what's right. What's the reasons are torn away by reality? When I the love reasons that. Are torn away I by love reality. the lyricism here, and a lot of its meaning is lost in translation. But the and fact that it's grasp. so well executed even in the translated lyrics is pretty cool don't stop beating burn the firewoods in the midst of noise mm -hmm. noises even setting up tent seems pure well come on here's to our next life shine and flash in a blazing speed that's hence exactly why the video why, is that's exactly what it feels like mind is solely set on hushing forward with all my energy spread it and linger in their blood to love with my soul heart that's why we don't need forever just hold me tight one last time then i won't ask for anything more no more bright future, no more inedible past. I'll have no regrets if it's completed with you. Lend me your strength one last time, then I won't ask for anything more. My future, my soul, my body, anything and everything, I will give it all to you. I love that yeah. the structure of this song, in terms of lyricism, it's always changing. And I think that's also what aids the overall motion of the, of the tempo of the song as well. Um, what's happen? What happens often in like title tracks or, or outside of the anime or Japanese music industry is that it tends to be quite cyclical. You're able to depict uh, the structure of the song. So it has a verse, an intro, a verse, and a chorus, and that same structure will repeat later on in the song. But with this particular uh, track, you don't know where it's headed. You just know motion, and even in the lyricism. There's no need to emphasize the same chorus. It actually changes every time, but you have emphatic lines that come back, which is actually more meaningful to the essence of motion. It, it relates more to the idea of life itself and and uh, how you have callbacks of different moments in your life that come back in 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 a in another episode of your life, if that makes sense. But I love the the forward motion of this. It's really cool. They're very damn impressive. Uh, yeah. Very, Man, very I damn feel... impressive. What the fuck? You've seen... Um, I feel strange. You've seen Jujutsu Kaisen, right? I have, yes. What is it? It's... Uh, it's... <laughs> complicated to describe. It's about a kid that picks up a demonic 
a finger <laughs> from a demon and then he gets possessed oh, by Oh, this is that shit that is like animals and shit. There's there are no like animals. Yeah, there is. There's like a walking frog and shit. No, there's a walking panda. Oh, holy well, gosh. That's, that's an animal, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but it's not like all the characters are that. There's a walk. There's a talking panda. Is that the one that uh, the man manga that I read? I, well, I didn't reversed. read. I saw it, but it was backwards, guys. Yes, yes. <laughs> it was fucking. We like. Yes, yes. I read from left to right. I think. That's right. Yeah, that's how I read, right? <laughs> yeah. So I fucking do it. King New is Japanese. I can read. Yes. <laughs> but you? this book was fucking right to left. Yes. Like Arabic. That's or, right. Or something that's right. like that. Mm -hmm. And then I, it hurt my brain. I couldn't deal with it. <laughs> my brain was like, what is this witchcraftery? <laughs> oh, it hurts to keep looking. But the drawings are so nice and interesting. Yeah, and the story Turn like the so page. Oh, my brain <laughs> hurts even further. But it's very weird. Yeah, it is. It is that one. Yeah, it's, it it's is our that cousins. One. Is, is our cousins one of uh, their what's, favorite animals? What's the one like that is like a kid? And then they, they like spy family. Ah, uh, that's right. Spy family. Yeah. The, uh, Anya. Anya is the kid. Oh, I've never seen that anime in my life. Just Attack on Titan. Oh, okay. I yes. saw season one of that. Very cool. Yeah. I saw season one of Jujutsu Kaisen. I, I haven't seen season two. But yeah. We haven't seen any anime this year because I think a lot of the themes they explore are kind of fucked up. Oh, they're a bit dark. Yeah, they're quite dark. Especially the ones that are popular, the ones that have essence, the ones that are actually good. Yeah. They tend to be quite... Brutal in oh, this I've have consequences. Seen a movie, an anime movie. Did you? Yeah, on Christmas we saw it. it this person Your couldn't voice, talk. Her voice. Yeah, the she voice. Was, she was she was <laughs> mute. Or, I think she was mute. Um, she, me, yeah, I think she was mute. Or did she just decide not no, to no, talk? No, 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 she was mute. Then, and then but, she gets bullied and shit. <laughs> and I don't remember the end of it. I think she dies or something. Oh, she, spoiler alert. She tries to kick off herself. Yeah. Um, I don't I know. I don't remember. I, you know what movie it's really good? Brutal. Like a tear came out, bro. Yeah, no, that was, that was tough. I don't cry. <laughs> Everyone who's... Oh, don't, 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 please. Stop. I won't spoil anything, stop ladies and gentlemen. It. But I don't cry. I genuinely don't cry. And, um, and not because I'm fucking crazy. Just, I don't know. It's a bit mm, hard. Debatable. <laughs> Why? No, I'm just saying that you're saying that you're not crazy. I'm like, mm, debatable. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Hey, yo. <laughs> no, I'm like, I don't Small know. I, I, find, I don't think I watch many dramas. I don't think I watch much stuff that can make you cry. I don't uh -huh. know. War documentaries, they maybe could. But they're more like informational stuff, you know? Who watches that in their own time? I, you're such a grandpa it's interesting. sometimes. Yeah, it's interesting. Grandpa. You know? uh, no, I think personally. What's the last time? What made you cry, guys? Like the last thing that you watched that made you cry? So let us uh, know in the yeah, the last TV show or, yeah. or, yeah, or movie that But let's made go you reply cry. to those comments. Yeah, I Guaranteed. will. Guaranteed. I will. I will. I will reply. But you know which movie really was really nice? And I, actually, I was really angsty and like, what the hell? Where is this going? I could not predict where this was going to end. What? Was your name? What, what the fuck is that? The, 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 ramp, the Rad Wimps, the uh, song that we just watched. Oh, the one that's like a parallel universe. Yes, stuff like that. I had so It's quite no, mind-bending, doesn't it? I had no idea where that was going to end. I, I was hooked throughout the whole storyline. And usually I'm pretty good at like predicting where things are going to go mm. in, in terms of like storyboarding for movies, even if I've never seen them. But with that movie, I think absolutely zero clue. I, I was so hooked. Anime would be very difficult to sort of yeah, predict. I mean, so many unless twists you're, and turns. Yeah, and I think we are. Everyone always asks us if we are ever going to actually start doing reviews of anime stuff and we will. this type of art style Just and give stuff. Me some time. <laughs> we will, in case you didn't know, like. Ballet has been recovering from a back injury. Yes. This is the best she's felt, but there's obviously ups and downs and stuff like that. And it's a recovery year. It's not just, you can't just recover from a torn fucking ligament in your back like that. It takes some time. But we are back with one of our newest channels, which is Future Friday Movies India. We will release Future Friday Asia, which um, will, will be, be about it, anime and it will be also like K dramas will be and there. -dramas and animated and, movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things like that that are, you know, Asian. In depth <laughs> reviews and the. Uh, there will be some reactionary content there, of course, as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm intrigued on that. I think I will definitely struggle on at the start on sort of guessing where this shit is going because their art style is very different. I think there's a lot of misdirection. Obviously, well-planned and stuff is all part of the direction. I think some of the best script writing that I have ever experienced comes from either animes 
or Japanese movies overall. Nice. What's a what's a web drama? What was that? A web a webtoon. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's like it's it's Korean? like the mangas. Is that Japanese? It's like, they both they both have a version. Birth versions. I don't mean to it. insult anyone. I just no, don't no, no, know. There, shit. there are no. versions in Japan and there are there are versions in in Korean as well. And they both are very good at it. There are a lot of uh, popular webtoons. So instead of getting them published. As as books, it's like an ebook. You you read oh. them online. You see okay, them online. Okay, okay. Um, and sometimes they animate them. Sometimes, sometimes w- because of the popularity of the webtoon, they will uh, find. You know, people will be like, "Oh, we will will spend money for it to be animated." Okay, I thought I would leave the last for the best. The best for the last. Okay. However, that saying goes, never touches a horse's mane. Uh-huh. Don't take a fish to water. I mean. Take the fish to water. What the fuck? That saying is backwards. That's yeah. wrong. That saying is wrong. <laughs> Never take a fish to water. Take a horse to fish. Is that right? <laughs> you can take a horse to water, but you can never take a fish. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is he saying? Know, yeah. yeah, you know? It's idioms, like, it, idioms. It's like, like a, it's a quite it's wise one, like isn't that, it? Idiom. Never, never touch... The horse's mane. <laughs> never, never touch a, a horse through the back. Oh, that's actually great yeah. advice. Hold it through the mouth. Um, Don't you, though? You pull the ropes. Anyways, so the song is for, from Attack on Titan, but it's it's an 18-minute piece. So get your popcorn, mate. Jesus Christ. And it's called Hiro, Hiro Yuki Sawano, Project Emu. Very damn requested. This will be the last thing we check out today. Okay. Let's give it a watch. Wow. I presume we're probably going to go in depth. But I'm feeling it. Suppose, I suppose. Oh, okay. Why is it a prod? I thought. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it's orchestra. Nice. Wow. Yes, we love. Oh, she's gorgeous. Oh, she reminds me of my friends. I had seen everything there was to be seen. Ah, yes, sir. Wow, how cool are you? Nice. Yeah, everything has so much essence. I've never heard this thing. Oh, the equalization is so awesome. Not all of them are reading. I mean, he can't read. There's no light. Bro, that, I don't know how that drama's reading that, bro. Wow, very technically sound. Did this you see her soft palette? I did. These compositions are so crazy, though. I love that the actual, her backing vocalists were the violins. What a cool touch. It did sound like voices, though. No, it, was, the it was It was. there. I love an alto. Can we just say that? I feel like they deserve more love. I agree. Love a slapper. Yes, sir. This is the calm before the storm. This is gonna get crazy. Yeah, there are layers to her vocals for sure. There's a choir in the back. She's phenomenal! This is phenomenal! Damn, what a show, bro. <laughs> and they're not even trying. They're just doing their job. 
See, that's a string section back in her up. No vocal. And that's the layer. Dude, she's a joke. Very technically ridiculous textbook. It is for now. How the fuck is this gonna be 18 minutes long? Where are we going? I have absolutely no idea. The journey. Uh, well, the reading, which lets you know that much. The only one not reading is her. Which, by the way, well... Oh, this is gonna get crazy. Would you wait? Oh... Oh, shit. Bro, my lip is twitching. <laughs> <laughs> it's a completely different song, okay? I, I get ya. We like autos. Mm. Oh, the auto appreciation. Oh my god, yes. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, so exciting. This is so exciting. Ooh, the octave above, what a cool touch. Who's the soprano, my god! <laughs> nice. See, oh, I, I, like, I like this approach a lot to um, music schools. So that you don't necessarily need uh, technology to replicate its own environmental sounds. Well, a lot of technology is being used here, though, for uh, sure. But I mean, if you get creative enough with a violin, a cello, mm -hmm. a double bass, totally you can create a little quirky sounding shit. I totally agree. Yes, 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 yes. You don't need triggers or sound effects. Or special effects. I love the appreciation for the altos in this performance, though. Yes! Nice to bring it all around, square it up. Is the pianist the composer? I have a few minutes. <laughs> wow. Oh, single girl, single girl. Oh, goosebumps, oh, amazing. That, that's really smart uh, arranging to square it all around at the end. <sighs> Stop the disjointed hi hat. Mm -hmm. Next to end the two and the four. They make it a four by four. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Black and white, I like that touch. <laughs> this sounds like Linkin Park. What a cool guy. Sounds like a flute a little bit. See, if you get creative enough. Yeah. And a bit of EQ and... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Damn. Insane I production. feel like I'm walking into battle. <laughs> it is so cool. He's going to the Spanish guitar. I wonder who the choir was. 
Honestly, there's no way of predicting this. There's no way of deciding where this is going to go. A bit like Attack on Titan, actually. Oh, uh, yeah. Very, very accurate, I suppose. Oh, great. It's awesome. What a brain. God bless the, that composer. Jesus. Such beautiful sounding floor tones. See that motion with that four on the floor? Good. Good way to modernize. A march? Yeah, I agree. Keep it, you know, streamable. <laughs> what a cool idea to bring the, the, the acoustic guitar for this. Very creative. New lass, here we go. Madness. Mad, mad. This has taken away my ability to speak. <laughs> I love the octave differences. Such a beautiful touch. See, she's a mezzo, and I like her vocal color. Oh, the violins, the freaking cello, it's beautiful. I mean, composition-wise, this is the best today. Oh, such a beautiful chord progression, my god! Brilliant use of brightness and mm. and darkness in the right moments. Yep, I agree. Oh my gosh, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm done loading this. See, you see the freaking traversing of the notes. Oh, that's how you belt. Triple on the kick drum. The triple in the kick drum. <laughs> it is really cool. I just love that the violins are the like the parallel opposite of her at the top. Such a cool way of bringing a climax. Idea without extra, like without killing your vocalist. Oh, it's using a, it's, yeah, it's double pedal. It's double pedal. It's very awesome. Yeah. Either way, though. I thought it did sound like double, but there's some impressive mother truckers out there. I can do it one foot. I'm sure it could though. It's just why. <laughs> Talk about details. Like if you look at the Stepario Siberiano. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. Very ah, good. nice, bro. Oh, a little bit of a break. Oh my god, I needed that. This is like a warm caress. They also utilize a lot of musical illusions. They do.
Like you feel like it's a 16 on the hi hat, but, but it's, it's not. not. Yeah, a lot of it is is deceptive in a way. I totally agree. It's like musical misdirection. <laughs> it really is. To play is. with your emotions really and the strings is. of your heart. Like that cellist is doing right now. But this is how you do contemporary music. Like, if you ever wonder how, this this is how. Oh, I was gonna say, someone's doing the... Yeah. It's not the bass. No, it's, it's, the, the, it's guitar. the guitarist. Ooh! The Spanish guitar, Bobby. Yes, bring it in. Ooh! And the delay! You're done. Go home, everybody. And the metal section, what a grand way to introduce that. Nice. Such cool modern arrangements, though, like... Very fun to play. And everybody is just in their own lane and for some harmonic magical way it all works. It's called composing, but, you know. Yeah, that guitarist, my god! There's nothing harder than doing finger work on an acoustic guitar. Ooh. Well the ladies. Ah, walk through life with that as oh, a no, background. Duet now. Very cool. Literally, no counts. Just go. They have the. Oh, I know, but. Counting this. How how efficient is that in a performance? Though? I love. That. Nice to bring him out vocalist. Oh, nice looking drums. Yeah. What a voice. He's such an overpowering singer. Of colors. Oh, yes, space guy. <laughs> Man, how this guy's so good at music. That is so cool. The music be musicing, bro. <laughs> Rock Edge do it. I'm interested in knowing his name. I'm interested in knowing all their names. Yeah. <laughs> so great. Dude, all these guys are like masters, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah.
Ooh, yeah, that guitarist is doing his best life. What? Oh, he's over. Damn. It finished? Just like it began. Like that. Vocal Eliana. Okay, the first one, okay? Uh, vocal Laco. The second. Okay. Then third was Jemmy. Jemmy. Lyrics by Ray. Ray, Ray, Ray. And then the duo at the end was MP and Laco. Uh-huh. So MP was um, the, the, the man, the guy. the guy. And he wrote the lyrics as well for that one. He wrote the lyrics for everything. Oh, the for first song, Lights Out, Benjamin MP. The uh -huh. second song, MPI. He, MPI. And then the third song, MPI as well. All music by Hiro Yuki Sawano. Hiro Yuki Sawano. Damn, dude. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It has 29 million views. This is a joke. <laughs> Awesome. I really love it from the deep of my heart. Uh, I agree. Yeah, I, I stand by that comment. I stand by that. Yes. I feel guilty for listening to this for free. To right? be honest, mate. It did feel a little bit like this was a whole... Send me your PayPal, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're already rich as fuck. But like, you know... This wow, is crazy. Guy. I wonder what else he composes for. He should open like memberships on his channel. Yeah. Like, I, I would you join or a Patreon or something. You cannot listen to my music unless you pay me. Yeah, he probably doesn't need it or something. But what's his, like, um, he got official fan club? Oh, 30,000. Okay. I'll join. What oh, the fuck is on this? X. What is X? Is the, is the new Twitter. What? It's a new Twitter. They changed. They changed it. Oh. It's not Twitter anymore. It's called X. So it's a porn website now. <laughs> nice. I I actually was quite like, what the hell happened? Who is this person? When did I download this? But it turns out it's just Twitter. Very nice. Good on the Musk. Well, OnlyFans makes a lot of money. Just X. Um. Damn, dude. Right. Blown away. I have lost the congruent. Ability <laughs> to speak or Who's give any opinion M anymore. BPI. That's pretty cool. Is that not a personality thing? No, that's M M B M. Uh, B T I, right? B I don't know. Wow. B two, B two. I don't. Uh, that's that's awesome, man. What a way to wow. end this as well. That that's that's basically pre pre pretty much it. Again. That's what I have to say about this podcast that I had a blast. That a lot of these things should be replicated in the West. That I would pay a lot of money to see this guy's life. That to close it out with with the review of that last piece, I think that piece, those three songs and then the whole arrangement behind it, mm -hmm. encompass. Well, it was five songs because it was also the two instrumental sections. Correct. Mm -hmm. It encompasses. What I think is the way forward to introduce classical and complex style music mm. to a newer generation and to keep them interested and to inspire them to learn to read, to learn music theory, to learn how to understand them, to look behind the curtain of magic, to learn the tricks of the magician. And then for them to create their own magic themselves, to create their own tricks. Because there actually was a lot of, trickery. maybe trickery is the no, wrong but word, but they, illusions. There were, there were a lot of like vet, veteran tricks <laughs> That's true. in this composition. And there was a lot of beauty and a lot of new ones and also a lot of innovation. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of not having to play so much with complex and intertwining music tempos. There isn't much need of that. You need a, a percussive foundation that incites movement, that incites easy listen, listening experience, and that incites recognizability. They did that with that drumming, with the drumming arrangement. They truly did. Then you need pop elements, both in the music arrangement, in the musical score, in the vocalizations. The singers play such a key part. But you also need classical arrangements to give it girth, to give it essence, to give it soul, to give it complexity. I also feel like given the fact that um, this is so, it's composed for a 
an animated storyline, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know why I don't recognize so any of that. I watched season one. Uh, maybe these are later on in the seasons. They have so many seasons, I right? I did watch it years ago. I was like in my first year of sixth form. So, I don't know, six years ago. Right. I I think the the Seven the beauty of this this compositions is not only that is a musical depiction of a journey. Ten years ago. <laughs> oh my God! Ten Holy years ago. Holy shit! Yeah, I'm 25. Wow. Holy shit. Nine years ago. Wow. Yeah, I was 16. Wow. What in the fuck? I keep thinking that 10 years ago is like 2005, but it's definitely not. <laughs> wow. Sorry to interrupt me. It no, just hit me right. like a truck. <laughs> I'm going to die soon. I'm going to joke. Yeah, no, I, yeah. <laughs> realizing your mortality because of great <laughs> music, um, it happens. <laughs> um, no, I actually think the, the beauty of these compositions is the self-descriptive storytelling of the whole of the whole musical journey like you don't need the visual aid of course it amplifies the whole experience to the tenfold but i just feel like there is such an interesting aspect of storytelling through music that I'll, uh, that a lot of the times we m lose we miss in mm, uh, fabricated uh, factory made music um in terms of doing contemporary music that still maintains essence and creates the illusion of, of um, layers, classical music does it best, right? So in Classical orchestral, that's obviously what we're referring to. Correct, correct. So including a lot of those elements into rock or pop fusions allow the, the, uh, the artistry of the composition to have those layers. And they're not complicated arrangements either, which I think that's the beauty of this performance, that a lot of the musical intricacies are not incredibly uh, complex. They actually are quite straightforward, and I think the layering of the straightforward approach of every element in the, in the, in the composition creates that musical illusion that a lot more is happening um, and I think that's what Efra is referring to when, it, we, when we talk about the uh, illusion aspect of a lot of these arrangements it's really clever it's very smart it's uh, really clever that's a damn good composer that's like award-winning fucking next I'm sure level he is. I'm sure unreal he is. person yeah human being how, that how? their brain must yeah. be an absolute I don't know, Wonderland, mate. It, it really is. I wonder... I, I wonder his views on life. I know. I I would love to see a documentary or him. The making him. of this behind no, the scenes. Just a brainstorm session. I would love to see how... How do you convey the ideas into an actual music sheet? I'm blown away, yeah. It's phenomenal. Blow, blow, blown away. I would love to know also his background as well. Very, very impressed. I hope you enjoy the podcast. <laughs> yeah. And goodbye. Good night. <laughs>